Today we'll be making the smart fans which turn off during the day when there's sunlight and turn on only when there's no sunlight sending the cool air inside the house. Let's see how. First we'll start by sketching the circuit. The circuit consists of a power transistor. Here we are using BD139 which is capable of handling at least 1 amp current. We connect the motor at the emitter of the transistor. We connect the power supply directly at the collector of the transistor. We connect a 1 kilo ohm resistor from the collector to the base of the transistor which is a biasing resistor. We connect the photodiode which is an IR photodiode at the base of the transistor in reverse bias. The difference between a photodiode and LDR is LDR works with light while the photodiode works only with the IR rays from the sun. The light falls on the photodiode, current flows from base to ground hence shutting down the transistor and current doesn't flow from character to the motor. When the light is shut down, the transistor is turned on and current flows from collector to the base hence switching on the transistor and the motor starts turning. This is a simple circuit working. For the power supply, we are using a simple center trap transformer which is a 12012 transformer. The transformer output is connected to two diodes in a full wave rectifier combination to get 12 volts DC. The output of this diodes is connected to a capacitor and directly to the circuit. I'll have all the components ready before soldering them onto the PCB. And for the fans, we'll be using these 12 volt DC motors which are fit on this PVC pipe using some glue and tape. And for the fan blades, I'll be using these uh, small plastic fans. Now let's solder the circuit onto the PCB. I have also attached a heatsink to the transistor to avoid overheating and damaging the transistor. To construct the frame for the fans, I am using a T joint, two small PVC pieces, and two L joints. I have cut out the front piece of the T-joint to make it flexible to fit to the window. Connect both the motors in parallel such that after connecting if you turn the one motor then the other fan should turn in the same direction like this. Now let's connect it to the circuit. Now the system is ready. What we'll do is switch on the fans and put an IR LED opposite to this photodiode. Let's see what happens. I am using a 3.7 volt battery to power this LED. As you can see, when I bring the air LED in line with photodiode, the fans tend to slow down and stop at a moment. That means the circuit is working. Now let's fix the fans to the window. I have fixed the fan to this window using two screws like this. And also, I have fixed the transformer to the same window here. The circuit is open now, but I'll be covering this with this cardboard piece so that the whole uh, circuitry is concealed. Now the whole circuitry is concealed like this. I'll push this IR sensor outside the window through here, so that it's directly exposed to the area where sunlight falls during the morning. Now let's switch on the system. Now the last step is to wait till morning to see if the fans automatically switch off when the sunlight comes out. 
and the next day morning I woke up to see that the circuit is working as the fans are turned off. Just for the testing purpose what I'll do now is I'll pull the sensor inside away from the sunlight and see if the fans turn on automatically and yes they do. So when I point the sensor in the sunlight the fans turn off and when I keep it in the shade it turns on. That means it's working. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video you might like some of my other videos too. Please check them out at Electronics Made Easy Khadar. Till then I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.